Hello, that's Robin Hendel from Tour Cookery. Um, it's a four segment video I'm going to do today, cookery that are going to be put up for sale. Um, hopefully my wife, my beloved wife, will uh, get them done today. Now the first one is this absolutely awesome late 19th century um, Gurkha cookery. Well, I say Gurkha, I'm not entirely sure, but I think actually it's probably an officer's cookery. It's so well made, it's beautiful. It's a uh, partial tang. Has a 33.5 centimetre long blade and it weighs 556 grams and it's a truly, truly awesome cookery. Now, its uh, scabbard is slightly, I mean, considering its age, it's um, slightly damaged, obviously, with this crack in it. And unfortunately, it doesn't come with any sort of frogs or anything like that, um, or the Jack Mac and the Carter or the blowpipe that was in there. But the Tinder pouch has the Tinder holder. It's a lovely, lovely done Tinder holder as well, I must say. Really, really nice. All in all, this is a great cookery. Um, so anybody who gets this, they really have got an absolutely awesome cookery. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves and um, enjoy your lives. Hello, that's Simon Henkel from Tour Cookery again. Um, just like to show you another cookery that's going up for sale on the um, older and antique section on our product page. Uh, this is the cookery used for the, as a basis anyway, for the Maharaja cookery. Uh, now, a lot of collectors, you know, said this, uh, this sign, Babu, well, I don't even see it's just about visible, I think. Yeah, there it is, just there. Um, meant master's cookery and all that sort of malarkey, but actually the reality is it's simply a maker's mark. That's it, simple as that. Nonetheless, it's a very good quality cookery. And having spoken to some Nepalese historians about this, they believe it was made for um, Nepalese soldiers that were perhaps something like the Royal Bodyguard and, you know, for that sort of thing, or very high quality regiment in the Nepalese army. Um, it is... I mean, for a Nepalese cookery, very, very well made, it must be said. It's a bit roughed up. Uh, that's not a surprise, really, seeing as how it's uh, early 20th century. Um, and maybe even earlier, who knows? We don't really know with the Papu cookery. Now, unusually, this one has actually got uh, a pin going through through the tang as well. Um, notice the cowdy there is quite nicely done. And uh, the decoration group by the spine is actually awesome as well. Again, uh, pretty much partial tang except for that pin. Um, it's a big, big cookery. So people that like big cookeries, this is the beast that you want. Um, now this one weighs 937 grams, so in line with the heaviest Marvel ones, and it has a blade length of 38 centimeters. So this is not one for you know fancy martial moves. It's it's basically I you know, I think I think it's probably really only very useful in, in woodland areas or for cutting up a large animal, that sort of thing. And and the one cut um, effort, if you're facing your enemy, I would hate to have to do a return cut with it, that's for sure. Um, so, you know, but very historical cookery, much sought after. Anyway, whoever gets it, I hope they enjoy it. And uh, once again, thank you for watching in this uh, little series of videos. Just like to point out, it doesn't come with any you know, proper scabbard, but I have got this leather covering for the blade. Um, it, it has split, but um, and it's you know it's no good for actual sort of carrying around the cookery in. It's far too heavy for this particular leather covering, but it will do the job for until you get another scabbard made if you if you wish. Just thought I'd better point that. show you in this little series of videos is this circa world war ii cookery now the scabbard is quite dilapidated as you can see there's cracks there stuff like that i think it's okay on the other side and you can see at the back there it's falling apart a little bit it does come with one little carder um but that's it as far as that's concerned now the cookery itself is a classic sort of world war ii issue cookery there, there were loads of these made um it is hard to to tell which ones were in world war ii unless you've got provenance 
and the ones that were made shortly afterwards. But this is certainly good quality cookery. Um, comes with the sort of standard handle that one gets with that type of cookery. Um, but it's, it's actually a very useful cookery. I know some collectors um, are quite derogatory about them, but I tell you what, this, this is a good cookery to have. And in fact, uh, Major General Mike Cannon, when he was um, in the first Gurkhas in Burma in World War II, um, this is the cook type of cookery, not this particular one, but this is the type of cookery that he got issued as well. Um, I've done a bit of an article on that one. Same sort of, uh, same blade length, same similar weight, exactly the same handle. Um, so all in all, you know, we know that these were issued in World War II. Plus there's a couple of pictures of Gurkhas carrying them as well. Um, so a nice World War II cookery to have in your collection and hopefully that will be up a bit later on today. Last but by uh, no means least in this little series of videos on cookery we're putting up on the older and antique section on the pro up page is this 1975 issue British, uh, British Service Cookery. Um, now 1975 I generally regard as the amongst the better of the um, issue cookeries post World War II. Um, now this particular one has a blade length of 28 centimetres and weighs 512 grams. So yeah, good usable cookery. Um, what can I say? It's, it's, it's a much sought after cookery. It has the brass butt cap and the brass bolts as one would expect. And it has the 75 marking there as well. So it's a very nice and it's a still very, very usable cookery, it must be said. So anybody that gets this, don't be afraid to use it if that's what you want to do. Obviously don't go trying to split logs and stuff like that with it. Just keep in mind it's a camping cookery which can be used um, in self-defense if required. It's, it's uh, certainly not a log splitting cookery. Not that I agree with cookeries being used for that anyway, to be perfectly honest. Um, the, the scabbard is in good nick as well, so that's all very good. You could probably polish it up to parade stand as well. The frogs are there, and you get your chat back and your card with it as well. So it's it's a complete 1975 model. And I think anybody that gets this, they've got a good little cookery. Anyway, thank you for watching the videos, and take care of yourselves and enjoy your lives.